Hello, everybody. Our junkie here, Shannon. I'm just doing some crocheting. I uh, will wait and see some people to come in. I'm going to be hanging out with Kim Tessa tonight, Fortune Nick Creations. I'm going to find out all about Kim and her channel, and what she got going on over there. And uh, you guys can get to meet her and see what a wonderful person she is. And uh, you're going to want to go over and visit her channel and uh, subscribe to her. Can I hear you? Oh, no, that's a different one. <laughs> um, Let me see here. Hold on a second. Brand. Okay, there we are. Creating unicorn. I need to edit that. Uh, no, I need to edit that. Uh, da, 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 da. No. There, that's better. No. Edit, 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 edit. Create a banner. Um, new brand. No, it's not what I wanted. Um, This is what I want to fix. Exit, so move from stage. <laughs> okay, I'm having. Um, hello, everybody. Hi, guys. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Good to see you, Kent Cindy. Hi, Pam. How are you? Flower Tammy, good to see you. Kim is here. She's hiding in the back. We're going to get her to come forward. I'm just trying to change the bubble here. Um, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Just uh, playing around with things a little bit here, guys. I'll be right with you. I'm going to delete some of these here.
Okay, there we are. All right, I have hurrah. Okay, here we go. All right, hi Becky, how are you? Good to see you. I am just getting things organized. We're gonna have Kim visiting us for tonight. How are you doing? Busy day for you. You may not last too long. Me too. I had a busy day today too. Very, very busy. I'm just, uh, I'm working on your blanket actually, Becky. I'm working on your chio blanket. It's, uh, it's an Ottawa Senators blanket. Red, black, and white. That's our hockey team here in Ottawa, Ottawa Senators. I thought some of the lads at the hospital would like this, and I asked my daughter, and she said, oh, yeah, they love that idea. They love that very much. So that was very, very good. I said, very well. And I went and I bought a bunch of black and red yarn. Black, boy, this black is very black. <laughs> I like to use... Um, uh, loops and threads, soft, soft, uh, soft and cozy, you know, it's soft, soft classic. And it's black is very, very, very black. Good to see you guys. I guess we could bring Kim up now, eh? And uh, we we'll start a little chit chat with Kim. So uh, you guys all know Kim. Um, let me, uh, there we are. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi. Hi, Shannon. I'm Good great. You. Working on this shawl or poncho that I've been working on for weeks. Oh, yeah. Hold it up. Let us see. I've got to get it finished. Oh, that's beautiful. What a cool pattern. Thank you. I kind of made it up. Somebody gave me a pattern and I didn't really like it, so I changed it and made it my own. So I like the hole like that. Yeah. I'm going to have to get that from you because I really like okay. that. Yeah. yeah. So I don't like yarn. shawls. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it was. So I went to one of those frou-frou um, yarn shops around here. Yeah. And it was one. Of, it was my first class, my crochet class. So I felt oh, like yeah. I had to buy something. Yeah. And this was the least expensive one. <laughs> so. It was oh, seven eighty nine no. a skein, and I got five skeins, so that's, not bad. that's a good price. It's really not bad. That's but not in that bad. store, yeah. I was, you know, I had to buy something. So yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm working on while we chat. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on this blanket. I'm gonna finish it up tonight. I'm just working on the border. I'm gonna make yeah. a fairly thick border. Actually, it might not get it done tonight, but I want to move on to b b bods. Yeah. Crochet along. That's what I want to get moved on to. Well, I have a funny I have a funny theory about that. Oh yeah. I was gonna I was gonna do that crochet along, but since you said you're going to do it and give it to members, I'm gonna wait and see if maybe I win it and then I won't have to do There you go. There you go. <laughs> Possibility. It's possible. Hi Barb. How are you, Barb Jarby? Welcome, welcome. Brenda. Welcome, Brenda. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Got, got to write all your names down here for the giveaway, the monthly giveaway. I got to find a better way of doing it because it's getting to be a lot of people now. So yeah. it's not, it doesn't matter how many people there are. It's just the writing it down part. If I could, uh, I don't know. Hi, Barb. I didn't see it. I'm trying to look. Because I've got you over here and this over there. and my Oh, okay. Here. you got a bunch of stuff <laughs> happening. I'm just writing you guys' names down here. Brenda, my lovely friend, Brenda Eisenman. Uh, and Chanson. Cindy. So I'm going to do this, guys, and then I'm going to say hello to y'all. Even though I kind of had that. So I went ahead while you're doing that. I'll tell you, I invited a bunch of my subscribers over. Awesome. And I see a few of them in here already. 
Hello, That's ladies. Great. Karen and Karen. <laughs> okay, let me get you down and, here. And Jansen. Hi, Cindy. Hi, everybody. Tam, Flower, Tammy, Michael, how she came in earlier. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So who are your viewers? So far, well, I think I've seen oh, Cindy. Oh, Mommy Honey Bodger. Welcome, Mama Honey Bodger. <laughs> Um, so Karen and Karen are both from my channel. Okay. Um, I, obviously, I, I got Aunt Bex from you. She comes and visits me. Okay. And Jansen's been over there for a while. Um, so I'm hoping to have more. I, I actually put nice. it on my community tab. Awesome. I meant to do that and I forgot. And I did it on both my Facebook pages, my personal have, one and my creative. I always do that and I forgot. I forgot it all. I had, really, I had a busy day today. I had a visit from a friend that I haven't seen in a few years. That was oh, really good nice. for you. Yeah. So I'm just writing everybody's name here, guys. And then I will. Uh, I had a messy day today. Have Cozy Koshenuk. I worked with resin for the first time today. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I almost needed a new sink. We'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Okay. I saved it. Are you all caught up? I'm just chatting while you're writing. Yes, okay. welcome. So I'm going to say my welcome to everybody. Uh, welcome. I don't know, Michael, if you're here. If you just said a hello and then squeezed out again. I'm not sure. Kim is here. Welcome, Cindy. Pam. Hi, Pam. Tammy. Welcome, Tammy. Bex. Love you, Bex. Stitch it. Pam, Welcome. Uh, Cindy, yeah, I said Cindy, Brenda, Barb Jarvie, and we have Karen Godrick. Welcome, Karen. Welcome in. Mama Honey Badger, welcome. Welcome. Karen H., welcome in to, to the live. Veronica, good to see you. Pam, always a pleasure. Glad to have you here. And that is everybody right now. You found Kim a while ago. Yeah, Kim's awesome. <laughs> Kim's awesome. Yeah, she's one of my regulars now, too, just like you, Cindy. Pretty much all mostly regulars here, except a few new Karens. Couple you Karens. Some Karens. My, my Karen squared. <laughs> yeah, you got some, brought some Karens with you. <laughs> I try to bring them wherever I go. That's good. <laughs> just don't bring them to the grocery store. <laughs> I don't go to the grocery store anymore. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I do Instacart. Yeah, me too. So why don't you tell us a little about yourself, Kim? Okay. Um, I was born, no kidding, 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 kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, well, I, I was in sales for 20 years and one day I said, I'm done with this. I'm going to retire. And I turned on the camera and I started talking about my crafts. And um, some people started turning on and watching me. And Karen is my yarn sister, that's for sure. <laughs> but um, I did, I just, one day, I just kind of clicked on the camera and said, I'm gonna talk to the world about what I really love and what I really like to talk about. And um, I never looked back and I've never been happier. I'm so glad I retired. I'm so glad I've got out of that rat race. Um, now I have this rat race. <laughs> yeah. Instead. So, yeah, I love it. I love everything I do every day. I'm either knee deep in yarn, as you can see behind me, or trying something new. So I love it. That's fun. Yeah. So were you a watcher before you were a maker? No, no, you weren't. I, um, well, not exactly. I, I picked up my crochet hook May of 22, first time ever. That's right. You're new like me. And yeah. And I did exactly what you did. I went on to YouTube and I typed in new to crochet or beginner crochet or whatever. And I found bag a day and, yeah. um, Crystal taught me every stitch I know, every, everything I know. And, um, then I just branched out from there. So I was watching just her though. I wasn't members to anything. I wasn't subscribed to anybody else. 
um, I just started watching her. And then once I decided to have a channel, I actually started watching other channels to get hints on how to do it yeah. and how not to do it. You know what I mean? Like some channels I'll watch, I'll be like, no, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. And others I'll watch, I'll be like, oh, you're so cool, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I watch others to get hints on how to do it right. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've had an art channel previously to learning crochet mm -hmm. and then decided I would learn how to crochet and now it's 50-50. You know, so do you find that you love crochet more or? Um, just, just what I'm into right now. Mm -hmm. I imagine I will crochet forever at this point because I'm <laughs> very much into it. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give up my art. Definitely right. not. Right. Hi, Kim. How are you? Good to see you. It's Kim Bolton's here. Hi, Kim. I'm uh, going to put your name in for a draw, Kim. We always have a draw now. So I find that sometimes, like, when I get a big project like this, I'll get to the point where I lose my crojo for a little bit. Like, I just, I'll go to pick it up, and I'm like, I just don't feel like it right now. You know, hi, Stitch It. I'm and gone. I just, so I, sometimes I have to get myself back into the mood of crocheting, but that's when I rely on my other crafts. Yeah. You know, that's when I create other things. And I have to thank you, by the way. Why You that? got me hooked on my journal. Oh, cool. I had never done one before. And I'm making I a journal right now. I so love this thing. Are you kidding me right now? I so love it. The glue's sticking together. Well, I am really having a blast with this thing. Yeah. Well, I've got finished cleaning up my art space today. Oh, I good finished for you. it. See, it's, I'd clean uh, it one day and mess it the next. So. <laughs> well, yeah, that happens too. But it had reached a point where it was like in need of dire help. My yeah. lady that helps me in the around the house here came and helped me, and we got it good finished. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. For those of you who are new, I have a brain injury, and part of that has affected my memory and uh, and my language. So if you ever hear that happening, that's what that's all about. It's just and we part jump of my in life and now. You. We jump in and yep. help you when we yeah, can. Yeah, <laughs> you do. You jump in and they jump in and help me. Becky's uh, Becky's the best at it because Becky's known me the longest, so she's. She knows the words I kind of tend to use and the way I speak and all that sort of stuff. Because Becky and I have been YouTube friends for almost 10 years now. I will be on wow. YouTube for 10 years in <laughs> July. It'll be 10 years in July. That's awesome. So That's yeah. awesome. So I had a break in between. I had a few years. Then I had a few years off. I went back to work. And then I came back. And, and then COVID happened. And I oh. couldn't work. Right. I couldn't work in the hospital uh, during COVID because I had been in a previously been in an, in an induced coma. Right. So I had bring, been on a ventilator before. So you went back to work after your injury and then had yeah. to leave because of COVID. Gotcha. Yeah. And and uh, and since then, uh, brain injury has gotten worse. Has it? Yeah, my aphasia has gotten worse. Memory has gotten worse. Yeah, so. Hmm. I did not go back to work as a nurse, though. Okay, yeah. I went back to nurse as a, as a sitter, which is someone that sits with people with yeah. mental health issues or. Issues. Yeah, my sister does. My sister does that sort of thing. Yeah, so I went to back to work and did that for a few years. I enjoyed it, and I'm glad I did it. And I got the opportunity sure. to work with my daughter. Oh, well, that's precious we right work there. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She still works at the children's hospital. Yeah. So fun, funniest cool. story is you got to work with your daughter. I got to work as my daughter's competitor. She, <laughs> she actually sold advertising for a local TV station, and I sold advertising for the cable networks. So we were legit direct competitors with each other. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'll never forget fun. the first time I, I, I she said she gave me report. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. It's kind of cool to see them grow up into 
adult humans, right? Yeah, <laughs> my and my daughter spent a lot of time at that hospital. Oh, she sure. Was a, she, she was a Chio kid. Oh, so, wow. Okay. So uh, the whole, and she did not plan to get a job there. It just happened. Well, that's awesome. So it was pretty weird. It was, it was definitely the universe doing its thing. Sure. Pretty cool. Sure. All righty. I got some other questions for you, Kim. Do you ask away. Words are hard, Pat, Becky. Words are hard. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. Hi, Maritza. Um, what kind of things do you do on your channel? Um, a little bit of talking. <laughs> That's why I had you on. <laughs> He's a chit chatter. It'll be good. Um, I do a lot of talking about all different crafts. Um, so like just today I put out a video on how to make, um, some thank you notes or some, um, personalized painted, um, cards or postcards, stuff like that. Yeah. Put out a video, how to make them. Um, I also, I do some where I went one time and I did some, um, crafting with my neighbor and their daughter. And I like it, that video. Yeah. So I just, I do a whole bunch of different things. Um, and some of them are crafts that I fail at because I'm trying them for the first time yep. and others are tried and true because I've been doing them for a while. So I think my whole idea is when it comes to being creative, just jump in and try it because yep. the worst you can do is just scrap it and start over. <laughs> That's what happened to me. I was like, I, I was just on YouTube and I thought, saw this art journaling. This was like 10 years ago. Like I said, I thought, oh, that looks really cool. I would love to do that. I want to check that out. So I started watching and then at the time I realized, oh, there's a whole community out there doing this. Mm -hmm. And then I joined the community, you know, and I watch just like sort of these same thing as like the crochet community of people who watch and people who do. And then after yeah. a while, I started doing it. And then after a while, I did a channel. So, Well, you got me also started on um, making cards. Yeah. So I, I don't know if you, can you see this one? Oh, yeah, it's pretty. So um, my brother-in-law, his mom passed away. And I made, this is the first legit card that I actually made a sympathy card for him. So I'm going to send oh, nice. that out tomorrow. Oh, but you nice. inspired me to do that as well. Yeah, I like to uh, I like to make cards. That's one thing that I don't think will ever go away because I'm. It's just um, there's also a whole community of card makers on yeah. YouTube. Um, but I'm my cards are very different than than the standard. I I love cards. it. I love watching yours, and and I'm inspired by them. And a lot of them will never see the light of day because I'm like, oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> then. Some come out nice like that one. So <laughs> yeah, it takes time for you to figure out too what is your own art style. Yes, that took me several years to figure out what what is it that I the how. I kept hearing like I took some art classes mm -hmm. from uh, um, Life Book. It's Tamara okay. Report. She she gives art lessons, and there's a different lesson by each different artists all over the world and I kept hearing them her say you know it takes time for you to get your own art uh, voice so that if someone sees something they would say oh that's that's art junkie or that's right so right right okay yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah so it did take like a number took a number of years for me to get to that place where a I don't want to take lessons anymore because I just want to do my art Right. And B, my art is my art. Like someone sees my art, they know that that's that's me. That's awesome. It's your signature. Yeah. It's your yeah. art signature. That's exactly. really cool. Let's I see like what's that. happening here in the chat. Uh Rebecca, welcome, Rebecca. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I am going to put your name here. When you come into my lives. What happens is everybody gets a number and then we have a draw at the end of the month. So I'm glad to have you here, Rebecca. You don't have to remember the number or anything. I keep track of all of that. And then at the end of the month, I just draw a number between one and whatever the number is that we've reached at. And uh, 
and we send out a giveaway. Hi, Maritza. How are you? Hola. Hola, Maritza. <laughs> okay, there we go. Karen H., you used to do calligraphy, but now that you're older, your hand shakes too much. Oh, I have that problem too, shaky hand syndrome. Hi, Sherry, how are you? You're shopping for stitch marker items on Amazon. Oh, you're making some new stitch markers? I have to do that pretty soon too, I'm almost out. Sarah Bear is here. Hi, Sarah Bear, how are you, lovey? Sarah Bear <laughs> is my daughter. I know, we were just talking about you. All good things, hon, I promise. <laughs> and Karen, I know what you mean. I tried calligraphy when I was younger. Um, but like, I can't, my with my hands now, I can't hold those pens anymore, so. Oh, Rebecca, Matt's with you. That's fantastic. Welcome, Matt. Kim's here, Karen H. <laughs> All righty. You're gonna get your stuff out and start making cards again, Pam. It's all about should, Pam. it's all it's about cool. creativity, you know, and it's all about um, finding what works for you and your creativity and how that is expressed by yourself, and and ultimately that makes us happy. That's the whole thing. Yeah, just if it's in here, get it out. Just just put it down on paper. Just do you know, whatever. You know, if you love the color, get it out. Yeah. So hey, Sarah, I, uh, good to have you here, honey. It's been a while you haven't been alive. I'm glad you're here. I'm love glad you. you're here. I get to sort of meet you. <laughs> well, you've never met her before? Not really. Oh, she hasn't been around for a while. Been busy so you, lately. You want to see? Used what to I come all the time. Want to see what I did with resin? Sure. After I almost ruined my sink. So I had this, it's an old tray. Yeah. And I just took everything to do with arts and crafts and I threw it in, just threw it all in. That's cool. I put paint in there and I stirred it all up. Yeah. The paint. And then I see poured some the stitch markers. I see some buttons. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I like the stitch markers and the buttons. What else is in there? I also have um, Needle. some needles. And I have an old brooch from my mom. Oh, cool. And some beads and baubles. <laughs> some pieces of yarn. Oh, my goodness. So Yeah. So I just, I took it and I literally, I didn't place anything. I just threw it. Yeah, that's how you look. And then yeah. I poured the resin over it. Exactly. So I, I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I like it. Yeah, it is nice. I like it, too. It was almost worth ruining. Or it Did was I write you down? Almost there? ruining the sink. <laughs> Well, thank yeah. you, Pam. Yeah, it was fun. Um, oh, a memory board. That's a good idea. Memory boards are very good. Yeah. I'm sorry you can't do that anymore, Veronica. She used to decorate cakes, but her hands won't allow her to do that anymore. Arthritis, yeah. is, a bugger. Arthritis is a bugger. It is no joke. I keep uh, getting carpal tunnel syndrome in my left hand. I already had my surgery on my right hand, but I keep putting it off because I need it. Yeah. My hands keep going numb. But, I bought uh, these gloves that you can put in the. Yeah, I want to like get some of those. Pack. You put them in the freezer, and you put them on your hands. They're wonderful. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, let me see any more questions I have for the lovely Kim here. <laughs> um. So, but why don't you tell me about your book club? She has a book club on her channel, guys. Oh yeah, so a lot of my um, subscribers. They're literally with me on, on every live and, and they comment on everything. So one of the things that I missed from working was we had a book club there. And um, so I just kind of tossed it out to the girls in my on my um, subscribers. And I said, what do you guys think about doing a book a month? Um, we can pick a book. We can talk about it on a live stream on Wednesdays. And everybody loved the idea. So um, we have our first book. It is called The Book Thief, and the, up this week will be up to chapter 14, and before the live, I go on and I get some questions and discussion questions, and we chat about it for an hour, and it's uh, it's fun, you know what I mean? It's 
It's really intriguing adult conversation. It brings up really good um, in-depth chat. You know, it's not just idle chat. I love it. And mm-hmm. from the feedback I've gotten from everybody so far, even those that haven't watched it live have enjoyed the replay. Yeah. So it's really fun. So for the next book, I'm going to ask everybody to send me a list of books that I'm going to put them in a drawing and we'll pick one from that. Oh, and that's I, a good idea. Yeah. And I think the winner, um, I'm going to actually send them the book from Amazon as their prize for, um, for picking the winning book for that oh, that's month. That's a great idea. Yeah. So it's, it's really fun. Like I said, it's, uh, it's the one thing I missed about working. <laughs> okay. I miss working. I liked working. I especially like working with Sarah. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sure. She, and yes, Rebecca, it could be an audio book. That's what I'm listening to. Yeah. Um, it could be any, you know, paperback, audio, whatever. I actually, I finished the audio book and then I went and I rented the movie. <laughs> so okay. I've watched them both. <laughs> Sherry says, I see the stitch markers. I put letter on, on my stitch markers. Then I don't have to leave hooks and projects. Oh, that's a good idea, Sherry. It's a great idea. That's a great idea. I was thinking. I was thinking there has to be a product that is better than a stitch marker in keeping our point of where we are at. So it's got to be a, something better than a stitch marker to hold our space. Here's a stitch marker that actually holds a little note. So oh. you can write like what row you're on or what hook you're using or whatever and clip it right on there. Mm. I use them too. But you know, like let's say you're here, right? And yeah, this is where you're at. Yeah. And you're, and you're leaving, right? And like I put a stitch marker here yeah. and I close it up. But there's gotta be something better. I need yeah. to come out with a product that's gonna solve this problem. We put a man on the moon. You think we could solve a stitch? Problem? I know. I, I got to figure this out. I'm going to become a millionaire. It's going to happen. Great. Stitch Great. I'll do your marketing for you. Sherry <laughs> says her mom, Veronica, my mom used to make wedding cakes. Sherry has carpal tunnel surgery for both hands. And happy mm. I did. I know I have to get the one done. Hi, Matt. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you came in as yourself. I put your name down in the draw here. And uh, also, welcome to Softball Susie. So glad to have you. I love your channel. I, I love your channel. I highly recommend. Hey, guys, I forgot all about this. Use the ones that, without the, net, the note clip. Use the ones like that without the note clip. Yeah, me too, Matt. Matt, are you? Wait a minute. You're with Rick, Rebecca? Let me see here. I'm up here. Rebecca said she's with Matt, right? Yeah, Matt's here with you. Okay. That's, that's sometimes <laughs> I forget. Yeah, I really enjoy your channel. As I was saying, you guys... Um, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, Matt. How are you doing? <laughs> How <are> you doing? <laughs> Mary King is in the house. Brenda A is in the house. Let me write you guys down here. Whoop, whoop. Hi, everybody. Brenda A and Mary King. You know what I might have people do? Is that right, Softball Susie? Down right? uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I think what I'm going to do from now on, actually, did I put Mary Kane in there? Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys to come back on the replay and write your name down to be included. Hi, Joyce. How are you, sweetheart? Yeah, I got you written down. You like the crochet and net mat. That's fantastic. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Welcome to everybody coming in. This is Kim, Fortunate Creations. We're just... From now on, on my Monday night lives from the lounge chair, I'm going to have uh, someone come in. It might not be always be a crocheter. Kim's do-it-all. Last week, I had Becky, again, I'm my oldest, dearest YouTube friend. I do it all. She does it all. Crochet, knit. She doesn't knit, I don't think. But she sews. She does all kinds of cards, art, beautiful stuff. 
Um, but you could just be a crocheter. You could be, you know, a knitter. It could be who knows come, who's coming up next. I do have an idea, actually, of someone that I want to have here next week that's also a do-it-aller. Awesome. Okay. So let me ask him a couple more questions. And we will see what's going on. Um, what's your favorite and your least favorite craft? Right now, I'm actually having a lot of fun. If you look behind me, you'll see that mannequin is wearing something I made out of a rescued blanket. So my favorite craft right now has to do with crocheting, but I'm pretty much really enjoying giving new life to old projects that maybe are ending up at a thrift store or the garbage uh, mm -hmm. for other people. So it is a yarn craft, but it's kind of rescuing others. I do love crochet. Um, I actually crochet probably four to five hours a day. Um, and my least favorite, I know what it is. Both Karens that are on here know what it is too. So far to date, my least favorite is where you take the plastic and you weave. It's like needlepoint on the plastic. Oh yeah, I forget what they call it. Oh, um, I made an Easter basket for my grandson. It came out beautiful, but oh man, man, oh man, that took me a minute. Yeah. I... And, uh, whoo. Yeah. So I told Karen H on here, I told her if my daughter ever has another child and I need to make other grandchild Easter basket, I'm going to hire her to do it for me because she <laughs> made me, because she made me this. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. What do they call that? I can't. Someone here, plastic Canvas. cat, but thank you, Becky. See, I told you, plastic, Becky, yeah. knows, Becky knows everything. And she, I mean, that's who I was going to ask. I was going to say, let's ask Becky. She knows what it is. So I told Karen, <laughs> I said, I'm going to sub this out to you if I ever have to do it. Karen another knows one. too. <laughs> Joyce says she's plastic. crocheting a dress for a 125 year old doll. Whoa. Wow, that's amazing, Joyce. I bet that's going to be that's very really beautiful. That's really cool. You should put it up on. Um, the Facebook page so we can see it. Yeah, put it in the Facebook group. That'd be cool. I would love to see that. Joyce. Yeah, so my least favorite is that plastic canvas needlepoint. <laughs> I've never done that. I've never been inspired to do that. Mm, just uh, if you do. To me, just it's like, I don't know. It seems go easy like, on yourself if you like try Like an it. old time thing. I don't it's know. Tough. I don't like it. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's very tough <laughs> but i was like oh i'm gonna make him an easter basket because that's what grandmas do oh boy there so how many kids and grandkids do you have i have one daughter and one grandson okay and that's it that's what i think we're gonna have because you have a husband too yeah he's in the other room listening <laughs> okay yeah Yep. So, and I have my dog Fritz. All right. He is my, uh, he's actually sleeping right here on the floor. He's very mad because usually I'm laying on the couch with him right now and he's very mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that upsets his pattern, he doesn't like. Yeah. Eh? Fritz, I mean, not, not, not Mr. Fortunate Fritz. I mean, <laughs> Kim says uh, she thinks she should have crocheted the Easter basket. You know what? Maybe I'll do that next. If if there is another grandchild, I'll crochet a basket for that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, have you seen my baskets? I have seen your baskets. Yeah, They're it'd beautiful. be nice. You could get that kind of yarn, or you can make them like how Be how Becky makes hers. Becky gets two or three different kinds of yarn together, and she makes the bowls out of just normal yarn, just a few uh, thread through a few different yarns put well, that's together cool. to make a basket becky do you have um videos on that so i can watch you oh yeah she does karen <laughs> look at you oh yeah <laughs> karen if you could please put a picture up on the fortunate creations page of that basket i'd love it yeah oh. then i can i can hire out both karens to make me easter baskets <laughs> <laughs> there, right? Nightbot just put the link in for my Facebook group. 
Nice. Right there. So Karen, if you wanted to put a picture of your Easter yes, basket Karen. in there, and Becky, awesome. if you would uh, like to put a link to your basket tutorials in there, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So the link is right there. He just came just in time. What is happening with Nightbot? He's getting on the ball. Oh, and I craziness. forgot to tell you, I was going to say it, and then I got off track again. This is the word we are looking for. Watch this. Woohoo. Look at that. Nightbot <laughs> knows what he's doing. All right, let me try. Don't forget the exclamation mark. I didn't have a chance to change it. I'm going to change it to something else. It's not doing anything yet. Oh, sure. Big bucks, no whammies. There it is. All right. <laughs> Well, there you go. So, fun. people, please drop your links so everybody can share everybody's channel. And if you're not uh, subscribed to people's channel, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like to join my channel, I keep it super cheap. And uh, we're meeting every every Saturday afternoon now at two o'clock. We're meeting and we're doing Amagurumi. Right now, we're working on a unicorn yep and then uh for finish the unicorn we're gonna make something else we're gonna do that every saturday and if we get to a point where you guys don't want to make amigurumis anymore then we'll discuss it we'll find something else to make because i'm awesome. sure we'll be sick of the amigurumis after a while but uh, for now <laughs> that's what we're making and uh, we finished the head this this Saturday in yep. the members live. So we're going to keep on working on the body. On She's Saturday. cute, too. Yeah. She's cute. She's and cute. on Friday this week, I host a live on Friday for doing my art. And I'm working on making a, um art journal right now. Oh, I do love that. Oh, that's good. I so had, now you said I, you're giving your art journal away to somebody? Yes. I, I'm not my art journal. The art journal I'm making right now. Oh, okay. Difference. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And I put a certain, I put a certain thing on top, a uh, certain cover. And then I looked at it afterwards and I thought, oh my God, she hates that color. <laughs> she, likes, she likes one of the colors, but she hates the other one. And I just realized, oh, that's terrible. I have to change it. So I have to go through my fabric pieces and find something that would work for her. Hello, pretty puppy. This is Fritzy, Shannon. I wanted to introduce you. <laughs> so cute. I love you, too. Hi, Dawn. Remember to leave a thumbs and check your <laughs> subscription status. Yes, like everybody. Unsubscribe me again. I know. They do that. <laughs> You love my art journals, Pam. Thank you so much. I, I should uh, one one week. Uh, I will show you some more. I'll show you some more. I'll do uh, a flip through of some of my early work. <laughs> I, I love. I want. I don't know if I want to do that. that, but we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> I'll do some more flip throughs. They're fun to look at. They really are. I think I'm about looking. myself and where I was at at that the stage of my life and what I was up to and yeah that's really cool that's why uh, when I'm doing mine I took that for cue from you so it's what am I doing right now you know like here's my logos and stuff like that so and here's the like the things I just made today and by the way Becky look familiar this is a postcard that Becky sent me oh, nice. made it into my journal that's so awesome. I, took, I took that cue from you and it's pretty much what's going on with me right now. Yeah. And um, it's a great idea. I love it. It's good. Art journaling is a lot of fun because there's no rules. And I know the only person who makes up the rules it. is you. You make up the rules. You decide <laughs> what works for you. You yeah. decide how you do it. <laughs> it's like the girl who's taking over from me, making the cards in the community. She says, what should I do? I said, Go to Michael's, go walk around, touch things, smell things, look things, mm -hmm. get inspired, and go from there. Now, you used so, to make cards to send to, um, like, the less fortunate? Like, is no, that no, what no. You... 
No, no, it's it's for women who are in recovery. Oh, of okay. addictions. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So pretty much, you just love helping people. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I've done my whole life. My job, that's my awesome hobbies, everything. Yeah, it's what I do. It's what I like to do. It makes me happy. And that you know, if it makes your soul happy, right? Yeah. A uh, mat is um, my lives are uh, tonight, Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Friday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern, 3 to 5. And then the members' lives are Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern. You're in the West Coast, are you, Matt? You have a Chihuahua named Paco. <laughs> That's perfect. That, that was Fritzy. Paco, come here. I know someone who has a Chihuahua named Paco, I think. Now you think about it. Let's see, we got some new new comments here. Pam has to say goodnight. I've been up since 3 a.m. Have a bad night, chest talk. Oh, I had that last week, Pam. That's no fun. Good night, sweetie. Feel see better. You see you next time. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Tammy. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. If you have, if you want, guys, please drop your channels. I would appreciate that. That's what I thought, Matt. You're in California. Fun. Yeah, drop your drop your channels. Hi, Jessica. Welcome, welcome. I think I subscribed to your channel this afternoon. Oh, fun. I think I did. I have such a hard time trying to keep up with all, like I try to watch each of my channels so that I'm subscribed to. Yeah. And I just, oh my goodness, there's so many. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. And it's a great little community. I mean, I can honestly say, knock on wood, I have not had one bad comment, period. Not I haven't one. either. I not haven't one. either. I've Isn't been that here wonderful? For, been here for 10 years. I've not had one bad comment. Oh, Sarah Bear, I am making a poncho or a, or a picture frame. Ah, ah, I'm kidding. I'm making a poncho. Put it Sarah on. Me Put it what on. I making. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a art frame. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, there. Becky. Put her channel in there. It's a uh, it's um exclamation mark drop. Is how you do it. So Sarah Bear, I was um, actually in a crochet class and I started making this and I just need to finish it now. So I don't think, Shannon, I don't think I'm going to go back to that class. No, eh? it wasn't for you. Well, the deal is they're charging me $15 a week. Which, if you add it up, that's a lot. But, um, and I'm really not learning anything. Like, first of all, I've been there four times. There's only four of us, and she doesn't remember my name. That's not okay. What? And, right? I mean, come on. And then, um, literally, she didn't say one word to me at all last week. Like, so I was like, you know, I'm just. No, you don't want to be like that in your community. You want a community. Exactly. To so. Um, I have a new class at the library this week. I'm going to check out. All right. But I'm not going to waste $15 a week. I mean, it sounds like a little, but that's a lot if you add it up. Yeah. That's like is. a Hulu subscription. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <what> <laughs> that's a Hulu subscription. I love that. That's hilarious. That's how I judge my money, too. Right? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm retired now, people. I got to watch these things. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. How are you? I'm going to write your name all. Hello. Good to see you. Um, I always put everybody's name down. Um, if you come into my channel or you leave a comment. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to get you guys. Ruth Isaac. Right, Mimi. It is a lot of money, right? And she really didn't teach me anything. Nor did she even give me the last um, pattern. She didn't even give it to me. 
she started showing me and then the class was over and that was it. And I'm like, hmm. hi, yeah. Ruth. How are you? You mean, Sarah, you think I should take a class? She thinks you should teach a class. I was going to say, I think I should teach a class. Is that what she said? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what she said. Mom, yeah, you should do a class. It would be fun. I think you mean me teaching, right, Sarah? Or you mean me learning? I hope, yeah. you, mean, I hope you mean me teaching because I wouldn't take a class because I know too much. Well, That's I my was personal hoping, opinion. Here's the deal, <laughs> Shannon. I was hoping it would, she might see that I was a better, a bigger level or a higher level than beginner. Yeah. And if she's there teaching, I was hoping she would show me some cool stuff, you know? Yeah. Next level, intermediate stuff. And literally, she was like, I had to sit, I, I legit, as an adult, had to raise my hand so she would come over and pay attention. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. So hopefully when I go to the library on Thursday, um, it's a good group of people and they think they might want me to teach. So we'll see. What is that for? It's Thursday afternoon. I'm crocheting too? Yeah, okay. at the library. Hi, Teresa. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Ruth. Good to have you, Teresa. So I'm just going to check everybody here. Right. <laughs> Tammy, how are you, sweetie? Good to have you. Good to be here. And when you just came in. Sarah Barrett looks you like You found a pattern for a mug wrap to hold your hooks and stuff. Well, I have one like this that. Teresa, you see this one? Like, this holds all my hooks. I have a, a pattern. This oh, on that's my cool. Channel. I also have a a pattern for uh, a mug rug or to put around your your mm -hmm. mug if you like. Or I said this is a basket that I make. I have these on my desk as well. I put my pens and my uh, paint brushes and things in them. So, That's cool. Yeah. I like that. I make all kinds of different baskets, all different sizes. I oh, make Shannon. them. I make them. I sell them. I teach them. I do all that with the baskets. Should we? Should we do the? Um... Yeah, we'll do that at the end. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe how fast the time is going. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Nana Mona, welcome. Hi, how are you? Get your name down here. <laughs> you go to group tomorrow. What group do you belong to, Tammy? has pockets for stitches, scissors and stuff. Very nice. Yeah, I put all my stuff in here. I got my scissors in here. Got all my, I got some new, uh, Mona loves me too. <laughs> I got some new uh, crochet hooks today, actually. I had, I had, Sarah bought me some Clover Amours for Christmas, which I love. It started off with Brenda Eiserman. Is Brenda still here? Brenda, are you here? Are you hiding out? Hi, Emma. How are you? So I was having a sore wrist. So Brenda Eiserman bought me my favorite hook. Where to go? Oh, I'm using it. <laughs> it's the six. It's my favorite. She bought me this one. And I fell in love with it. So I said, Sarah, will you buy me a set of those for Christmas? So she did. But it only went up to size six. So I bought these today. I do surveys and I get free money from doing the surveys. And then I go to Amazon and buy things with the free money. See, so that's what I did with these. I did some surveys. I got some free money and then I bought these. That sounds So like these fun. are, um, this is an eight, 6.5 to a not, to a 10. So I got 10 of those. So that was all right. But yeah, I put everything in here. I got my stitch markers here. I got my needles. Got my. my That's really a cool little. And my. Cool little canister holder thing. My I like needles. that. Yeah, it's great. And it just sits beside me here on my little chair. That's awesome. Full now. Full, full, full. Used to just have a couple of hooks. Now it has a bunch more. 
I gotta get yeah. some fancy hooks though. That's what I want to do. I want to get some fancy hooks. I thought about that, and then I'm like, you know what? I legit use this one for almost everything. So I don't want to. I'll just spend money on more yarn. <laughs> yeah, Tammy, your daughter does that. It gives she gives cards. Yeah, exactly. It gives me Amazon gift cards. And I buy stuff off Amazon every month. Anyways, I have an Amazon Prime membership, so it's free me delivery, too. free money, free stuff. I'm in. <laughs> I mean, I free, 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 eventually, free. eventually I'll get bored of doing surveys, but for now it's I'm getting a good amount of money, so I'm happy. Yeah, why not? Books have baby hooks have babies. <laughs> is that what happens? So does my yarn, <laughs> apparently. Oh, Dawn, your son is an <laughs> RN, and you're retired from that gig. Yeah, my daughter works at the children's <laughs> hospital, and uh, I'm a retired from that gig as well for sure that's good for you Tom. i didn't know that about you a lot of nurses in the crochet community mm -hmm. a lot of dons too i have a sister named dawn <laughs> um what brand are those that are your favorites hi ally how are you i'm sorry i am so are you, sorry are you talking uh, to my, me about my the... um uh, my uh favorite brands are um Amours, yeah. Clover Amours. That's my favorite brand. Do you have a favorite kind of uh, stick? I call hook stitches. You sticks. do call them sticks. I call them sticks. Do you have a favorite, Kim? Mine are actually from, I believe you get them on the back wall at Michael's. They're from Yarnspirations. And they sell them one at a time. They don't have a whole set, but I just like the weight of these. They've got the wood at the bottom. Yeah. And um, so one at a time, I got myself a whole set. How it's kind of like, it, they're only like five bucks a hook. Oh, that's so bad. And um, I just get used to the feel of them, you know? The yeah. Weight. Everybody has their own preferences. Yep. It's kind of like writing with a pen. I have my favorite pens as well. You know, I just like those certain weight. Yeah. Matt likes the bougie ones. I have a couple of furs, furls, and Susan Bates. My knitting needles are Chiagu, Chiagus. Oh, yeah. All right. You well, guys wanna, you know, you, the, you uh, in see. terms of, in terms of, uh, in terms of stitch, in terms of uh, these, the clovers are pretty much up there. Clovers oh, are fancy, fancy ones. I love them. I'll never go back. So this is what, yep, this is the problem I have. <laughs> uh -huh. And you probably use one of those, eh? That's what I'm saying. I, I go to these <laughs> every time. But I found these and they're cool. So I'm like, oh, I got to have them. And, you know. I so. think that's normal. I think that's normal. Yeah. Brenda A says that her youngest daughter is an RN. In her time off, she packs her Jeep and rambles. There you go. My <laughs> oldest daughter Thanks, is a pre-K kit kit kin. My oldest daughter is a pre-K teacher by day mm -hmm. and crochets by night. Very nice. That's awesome. Yeah, that's fun. Cassie Whitby, did I forget you two? What is happening to me? I'm got. Uh, I know what it is. I'm focusing on too many things all at once. There we are, the lovely Kathy Whitney. What are you up to these days, Kathy? I delivered your blanket on uh, last Tuesday. I delivered did my first teal drop off of blankets, so that was fun. Karen has a set from Leisure Arts metal hooks. Got them that's really cool. Eighty-five. Karen. That's neat. That's cool. Yeah. Two hero hooks? Yeah, you have two hero hooks, Kim? I do. I got them by accident. I got, like, a lot of them in, um, like, on eBay. Yeah. And they were tucked in there. I'm like, oh, that's a hero. I bought this big thing of, of, of um, thread, crocheting thread. It's a big yeah. one, old, old, old. And the inside, it was hiding a crochet hook. It's a tiny little thread hook. And That's it's from fun. Britain. 
It's from a from made in England. That's so yeah. cool. It's very, very old. So that was I just cool. love treasures. I just love treasures so much. That's I, awesome. I go looking for this stuff. I love it. What kind of yarn are you using? Emma is asking. I am using Encore Color Spun by Plymouth Yarn. And the colorway is Spectrum. Oh, um, the color, the color, here's the number of the color 7203. Pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. What's it made of? Is it? It is 75% acrylic, 25% wool. Yeah, those bougie yarns, they always throw wool in there. And like I said, it was the cheapest skein I could buy at that store. Yeah. Eh? So I could get ignored for the class. <laughs> but you know what? I just wanted to see. I'd always wanted to do that class. So now I did it, right? Oh, Tammy. Tammy says she has hooks from Mexico and India. Oh, that's fun. Kathy is a Kathy Whitney is a clover hook lover too. My favorites only too. Once I once um Brenda Eiserman I was talking about it. I was saying, Oh, you know, I'm losing these cheap hooks. Maybe if I use an expensive hook, my wrist will feel better. So Brenda Eiserman sent me one and I was like, That's it, I'm hooked. Now Does these, it make one, these ones aren't clover. These ones aren't, they're just cheap ones. I'm gonna be interested to see what the difference is. So yeah, they, I have some that look like that. Hold on, let me. These are way better though. The feeling of this, the feeling between the two is like night and day. This is like heavier. This is light, light, light. This, yeah. This the whole way it feels in your hand is completely different. Hmm. Yeah. See, I don't know. No. Uh, this is a boy hook. Yeah. The clovers are just like the Rolls Royce. And the metal. And it doesn't them, make a difference. The metal on them. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Like looks just like butter. It's so smooth. Great. That's what I need is to go buy one of them and get hooked on that. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to do. They're expensive too. Those suckers are they? expensive. For six, it's like a hundred bucks. Ouch. Have yeah. you tried these? No. They're plastic, eh? Yeah, I don't love them too much. Yeah, I don't love plastic either. They're okay for emergency. I throw them in for my emergency bag, but. No, I always come back to these. Rebecca is frozen. Is everything okay, Rebecca? You froze for like a millisecond on mine, but you're... you froze too for a second, and then everything got better. Yeah, then it came right back. Okay, yeah, try and refresh if if you. Uh... Try and refresh. Mimi, his daughter, is 14 and learning programming for robotics. So proud of both of them. The students are doing great. That's wonderful. That's cool. Tammy has a beautiful O-Fire. I know. I want, I'm want. i going to get one of those. A what? An O-Fire hook. It's See, I've beautiful. never heard of all these things. See, but I'm just... I was talking to Sarah about buying an O-Fire hook. They're, they're, um, they're made, made out of um, the stuff you were playing with there. Resin. Made out of resin. They're fancy and they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hooks. But if you drop them, nine times out of ten, they break. So I was talking about that with Sarah one time. She's like, Mom, you know you're going to drop it and it's going to break. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're right. I probably shouldn't buy one. Well, but I'm going to, I keep, I keep one every time I'm over at, uh, at, um, Mishi's. She's a, she's she's an affiliate, so she does a lot of giveaways of the old fire hooks, and I'm always yeah. like, oh, I hope I win an old fire hook tonight. <laughs> hey, Sarah, I forgot to tell you, I won last night after we, after we stopped chatting. Sarah and I, you chat. keep winning stuff. I, see I know, winning. That's and I won. Awesome. It was the last, the last draw of the night. She had forgotten that there was something in, still in the bag, and she looked, oh, there's something still here. I guess I'll draw for this, and I won it. Awesome. And it's some bougie yarn. You need That's to like send some me some of your luck. Send really me a nice. I know. I didn't win anything for like four months. I won nothing. I was That's like, geez, awesome. I can't for win you. for losing. And now I've won <laughs> like just about every time for the last like three, four weeks. I win every time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been winning a lot. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, I keep hearing comment. Let's do that. Let's see here. Your most treasured Matt's most treasured needles are the ones his grandma used. That's, That's so awesome. beautiful. My grandmother's school just started this year with her dad's help. He's been running the program in the school he teaches at for a few years. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's see, Nightbot's telling everybody about the Children's Hospital. Good job, Nightbot. Would you like to become a member? Nightbot's doing much better since... Nightbot's earning his key. He's doing much better since I had a little visit from the lovely uh don aaron she's helped me out with it <laughs> that's funny yeah let me see here uh sherry is a pencil flute holder i was a flautist so that would be like this flute holder would be like this, this is i hold a flute like this so you crochet like that i guess like this i guess i'm a knife holder right this is a knife Becky, are you on early in the morning? Oh, yes, or is she that is. Just, are you on early tomorrow morning? I like that. Oh, I wow. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I won. Yeah, I won the very last draw. I was like, okay, this is it. This is it. I'm going to win. Go, go, <laughs> go, go, go. And then it was our chunky. I'm like, yay. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's why I'm not doing because it was a, one of those long. nights where it was giveaway the whole night was it was her celebration of her one year anniversary, so it was giveaways oh, yeah, all yeah, I was it was giveaways all night long, all night long it was giveaways. Good was night, like, Becky. It. it was the last one. I'm like, this is it. I'm gonna win. I can feel it. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I, I was watching that for a little while, and um, oh, and then Fritzy got mad, and I went and laid on the couch with him. See, he blew my chance. Good night, Becky. Have a good sleep, sweetie. You love the furls? Ma, Matt, yeah, furls. Some people love the furls. Some people love the... Did, was it the furls? Are they, did they have metal ones? And then they changed them, and there was a controversy about them. Was that the furls? <laughs> you won last night too, Matt? Do you have a channel, Matt? Yeah, I want a six millimeter O oh, fire hook. Oh, I want to get one of those. I'm <laughs> gonna get myself one of those. I'm gonna buy me one of those. Never one of Mishi's channel. I'm a perpetual donator, not a winner. Yeah, you do, bro. Sherry. You would think you would win because of the amount you give. See, that's how it works in nice. the universe. If you're giving out to people all the time, the universe will give back to you. That's why I'm a good winner because I give out a lot of stuff. Well, I think the universe missed my number. <laughs> <laughs> but the first, the first thing is you have to show up. You have to show up. True. And you have to be there at the giveaway. You have to. I mean, I I win at giveaways. I don't even want to win at. <laughs> Save them for your giveaways. <laughs> You want an art diary there? That's where, cool. Where, Cindy? Oh, I mean, at the uh, uh, oh, you won the art diary last night. That's fun. You like that? Tammy likes the Ruth, older Ruth, are you boy still hug. on? You are still on. Ruth, this was going to be your T-shirt, but it didn't come out nice enough, so I made you a different one. <laughs> Pam's like Sherry. She never wins. Right. And when I have one, I haven't received the prize. What? What? You had won a prize and the person didn't send it to you? That's terrible. Yeah, these hooks I came, it came in this little case. I'm going to give this away too one day. Not today, Oh, that's but, cute. Isn't it? I have so many cases and I keep buying them. I have issues. I know. This was, I put some, some, some nice hooks in there and some stitch marshes and stuff. But not tonight, but another night. We have a good a giveaway tonight, but it's going to be um, uh, Kim is doing a giveaway tonight. 
Oh, that's nice. That's so many nice crafts, one. so little time. And I just put a little bit of everything on there. Let's have a look. There's scissors and paintbrush. Paintbrush. You need to move it over more. You there not... we go. Crayons and I even <laughs> put me. Yeah, so I put a little bit of everything on there. I should have mine here, but mine's not here. That was fun to make. A little crayon. You won an old fire hook from Mishi last night, Matt. Good for you. That's, That's awesome. what I wanted. That's what I wanted to win. What's an old I mean, I'm, I'm happy to win up. the yarn I won, and it was beautiful yarn, and I'm going to make something beautiful out of it. But yeah, or, or I covet the old fire hook, I must say. I do. I covet the old fire hook. <laughs> one day I will invest and buy one. Well, I'm going to have to write it down because I have no idea what that is. Oh my goodness, yes, it's very beautiful. Yeah, make sure one day y'all are gonna hit it big, buy lottery tickets. I'm serious. <laughs> so happy for y'all. If I ever win, all my friends win. <laughs> you never win, Tammy. Didn't you win last night? I thought I could have swore you won last night, Tammy. You won last night <laughs> on uh <laughs> Um, you won last night on Mishi, right? Tammy, you won last night on Mishi's lottery, Shannon. Play the lottery. No, no, I know about the lottery. No, I know the lottery, but you won last night, did you not? On Mishi's, she won the book. Yeah, I knew she won because I remember thinking, what? Oh, she won. <laughs> Just look up the old fire hooks. Very pretty. Yeah, yeah very I'm pretty. Yeah, like I'm I'm that's the problem with me. Shiny pretty things. I have to have them. And my daughter's even worse than I am. <laughs> She's way worse than me. She loves shiny pretty things. Me, it's pretty much just colorful things. If it's colorful, I want it. Anything pink, that goes in my kitchen. <laughs> Seriously, I have a pink kitchen. I have a pink toaster. I have a pink garbage can. I have a pink nice. rice cooker. I have a pink coffee maker. I have, all my utensils are pink. My pots and pans are pink. Wow. My kitchen is pink. <laughs> Mine would be purple if I could. But. My bed, bathroom is blue. My bedroom is yellow and turquoise. My kitchen is every color. I mean, my, <laughs> my art, my living room art space is every, yeah. every color you can imagine. But yeah. I'm surrounded by a lot of purple in my world. And I don't even think I did it on purpose. I just tend to just, oh, that's pretty. And it turns to be purple. Oh, thanks, Sarah. That's Sarah, nice that's sweet. You. She's a sweetie. She is. My a daughter's sweetie. a sweetie. That's awesome. Do you guys hear a weird noise? Fritz is snoring and doing that little dog bark thing. So if you <laughs> hear him, <it's, laughs> he's kicking his little foot going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had a few dogs in my days. <laughs> <laughs> He's cracking me up. Uh, He's actually yeah, so cool. if you have a channel, please put a drop your links. Uh, you, you just do the exclamation. Wait a minute. Exclamation drop like that. That's how you drop your links if you have a channel. I like to get... Um, it's important to me in my channel that everybody is for everybody like everybody shares all their stuff in my in my facebook group you want if you have a channel you can share your channel in my facebook group it's not just for my it's stuff great. yeah it's not just for my stuff it's for everybody's stuff That's and my awesome. and my uh, uh my uh comments is for everybody put all your your links in there and uh That's awesome. yeah. there there's sherry's channel good job Okay, Bye, Karen, Karen, thank you so much for being here. Take care. Karen, don't Enjoy. forget book club Wednesday, 3 o'clock. I'll nag you later. <laughs> there you go. You wanted to try the old fire mat? Because I have big hands. That's hard to hold the clovers. The clovers, I have to admit, are small. Because sometimes, see, like, I have tiny, wait, okay, there. I have tiny little hands, like tiny little hands. <laughs> Seriously, very tiny hands. I'm only five feet tall. 
I have tiny hands. And for me, even sometimes when I'm crocheting, if I'm doing like a single crochet all the time, like my finger goes to the end of the hook. So I can only imagine. And that's why think. I like these because they're longer. See these ones? This is yeah. about the same. This one here is a fake one. They're trying to pretend they look like this one, but they're not the same. And I will feel it once I start using it. But I only need this for making some tough teddy bears for the kids at the hospital. So <laughs> that's that. Thank you. You just opened my door. Yeah, if you don't buy tickets, you can't win. You don't buy the tickets, you can't win. I remember when my daughter turned 18. That's the first thing she did. She went and bought a lottery ticket. <laughs> really? You get a lottery ticket. That's yeah, because you funny. can buy lottery tickets when you're 18 in Canada, but you can't drink until you're 19. 19? In you Ontario. Until we're 21. Yeah. Hmm. You can drive at 16. You can get your your lottery tickets at 18, and you can, you can vote at 18. You can't drink till you're 19. Well, they're talking about raising that, too. Are they? Yeah. Everybody's talking about their winning tickets. <laughs> I don't play the lottery. I never win that, either. So, yeah. Um, Matt, have you tried the one... What's the stick Stick with the... Um, with the... It's plastic, and it has holes in it. It's supposed to be bigger than average. Bigger than average. The stick that's supposed to be bigger than average. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I forget what it's called. Yeah, I think drink should be 21 and driving should be 18. I agree. 16 is far. It is not the right age to start driving 16. They are too retarded at 16. <laughs> 16 kids are retarded. They don't have any concept of anything. Of no. anything. And then you give them a car? Like, that's ridiculous. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm fortunate my kid didn't drive when she was young. Oh, mine did. I wouldn't let her have any other teenagers in the car with her, though, well, that I knew so, of. So, so you, you, um, sorry, Matt, did you win an old fire last night? Yes, you said that, right? I'm sorry, Matt. It's my brain, my brain memory. I don't. I have a brain injury and I can't remember things. So I think you said that earlier that you won an O Firehawk last night, right? Anyways, you have to let me know. Prim Hook, that's what I was talking about, Sherry. That's what I was talking about. Prim Hook. Matt, you should try a pr a prim hook, it's bigger than, it's a bigger, it's a bigger, it's a longer hook, but it's plastic. So you might like that, you might not. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so there's the, the link for the uh, <laughs> support, Sorry. to support the children's hospital. If you're interested in getting involved in my, uh, my adventure, Yeah, what we do um, for the CHEO program is I crochet blankets. Kim also, uh, I sent your blanket off too. Yeah, uh, it was beautiful. On Tuesday. Um, I've had Kathy Whitney is here. Kathy Whitney donated a blanket. Um, for people that are in the States, usually what they do is they will fund the blanket and I will ask them what color they want they want me to blake the blanket in. And then I'll go and I'll buy the yarn and then I'll make the blanket and then I'll show it to them. I'll show it to everybody. And then we drop it at, at the hospital. So that's how that works. And uh, a few weeks ago, I received a huge bunch of donated yarn. So I'm good to go for that's like, awesome. Like you behind you, I have one over here. It's full mm. yarn now, and it's, it's all donated yarn. Good for you. Yeah. So that was all right. This was donated from my wallet. <laughs> yeah. Not donated. It. I mean, I got it in little dribs and drabs, though. I got them yeah. all. Yeah. You know, I certainly it happens by all that, but um. I did get a lot of them mystery boxes and stuff. I love mystery boxes. Oh, do you? I do. 
I don't do mystery boxes, no. It's I'm afraid the excitement. I'll get all crappy. I want to know what I'm buying. I want to, you know, I want to know what I need. I want, I want to know what I'm buying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just the way I am. Well, now I'm to the point where I have so many, like the wall behind me is all new stuff. Yeah. Over here on the other wall is all balls of yarn that I've wound up from leftovers. Okay. So now I'm trying to find little projects to use that stuff up. Yeah. Well, I make mine with, I, I use mine to make blankets. My, I have a whole basket full of yarn balls and yep. I just make blankets out of them. Yep. I took, I find different colors that go together. Like the blue, yep. blanket, the blue blanket I did with all the stripes. Yeah. It's all just scrap yarn. Just nice. Find a little bit that's, I match them all up and put them together. I'm probably due for one of those pretty soon. My basket is runneth over. From the yeah. little bits and pieces. Like here, I'm rolling off one of those right now. I also use it for packing material. Like when I do a giveaway. Yeah. I will pack the mugs with the yarn balls. Pack cool. it all around it so that it's cushioned. <laughs> Only once. Now, Ruth is on here. I sent Ruth a mug. And um, the box I used was too flimsy. And it broke. So okay. I sent her a new one. All but right. other than that, people crack up because I send them little tiny yarn balls filled in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about, Matt. I was talking about the prim hooks, but they're plastic. Yeah, they drag. Yeah. And I think that's what's going to happen with these new ones I got caught. But they're just for, I don't know, for, just, for, they're, they're not for anything special. We'll see. And I'll probably end up buying good ones after it. I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have bought those cheap ones. <laughs> Depends on the yarn. It depends on the person. Everybody has their own likes when it comes sure. to coffee. And everybody has their own likes when it comes to sticks. Sure. Yeah, so there's Nightbot just dropped my Facebook group. If you don't mind, this is what happens when you come to my lives. Whatever you're working on while you're in the live, please take a photograph of it and put it up in the Facebook group. Um, I will have to say yes to you coming in. That's not a problem. Just uh, request to join and I'll approve you. No problem. I just do that to keep the riffraff out. It's a it's a pretty big group, but it's not it's not um, it's not uh, overwhelming. Like the, you you'll know the people like people right. that that um, that post are the people that are in the group consistent yeah yeah for sure yeah. that's what i'm noticing with my channel a lot like both karen's and ruth um i'm seeing them enough now they feel like friends because yeah you yeah. know i we talk all the time and yeah. we chat back and forth and we message and stuff and it just feels like a nice friendship oh yeah i have a community offline and i have a community online Absolutely. yeah like i said i've been on it for a long time and I you haven't. Know, Do you realize I consider I put... Tammy my my friend. I can definitely consider Kathy Whitney my friend. I consider you my friend, Kim. Like, yeah, it's if cool. I just met you, that's that's <laughs> one thing. But after a few weeks, you're my friend. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you think you know? about it. I put my first video up on yeah. December third. Yeah. So that's only how long I've been on here. That's it. What yarn do you tend to use? That's a good question. Uh, what, what yarn do you tend to use, Kim? Let's ask the guest. I like to, I default to um, loops and threads. And what kind of loops and threads do you like? Where is it? Loops and threads. Soft classic. <laughs> That's my favorite too. That's, this is most of what's behind me. All that blue up, yeah. where is it? Up there. That's yeah. all it. Um, yeah. Joanne's was having a huge sale and I bought like two or three of every color. So yeah, they have them on sale right now on Michael's you, for $3 and 70 cents. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Like my birthday. So that's my favorite yarn. My birthday is on Thursday and uh, that's what I'll be buying. Loops and nice. Soft classic. That Happy birthday favorite. early. Thank you. <laughs> I'm turning old. I'm old enough to be able to get seniors discount. You. Well, so am I. So it is what it is. Yeah. My brain is still 18. 
<laughs> but what's your favorite? Do you use cotton? Um, honestly, I have, for what I use cotton for, I usually use it for like kitchen towels and stuff like that. So I really like the sugar and cream. That's okay. the cotton I use. Okay. I do have, I don't know where it went. I do have a couple of them that are, it's super soft. It's actually, okay. I think I have it out in the car. Yeah, I have, I call them rough cotton and soft, good cotton. And then what is this? I just got this. I'm loving this. This is acrylic. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you in a second, Mona and Sarah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I'm yes. looking for that other Yes, guy. Sarah, this is Fortune It's Creations, Kim. <laughs> Hi there. Let me see, is this it? Yes, yes, I'm going to answer her question as soon as Kim is done talking about her cotton. Yeah, there is another cotton. Whirly Gigs, was that okay. it? Whirly Gigs, 100% cotton. is. Um, but I brought it to my crochet class last week and I left it in the car because I was only going to work on that project at class. Okay. So I'm going to bring it back in now because I'm not going back. Okay, so. well, there you go. There you have it. So my group, Nana is um it's on facebook um you just click the link it'll bring you there and it'll ask you if you want to join and then it'll come to me and i'll say yes nana can join and then in the group basically we just share pictures and we and of what we're making while we're in the live or anything um, after that and we just share pictures and we just say, oh, I like the green in that. Or, oh, that's a really pretty <laughs> pattern. Where'd you find that pattern? Or check out this thing I'm making. Or I'll put in the, I'll put in the Facebook group, oh, going live, 2 p.m. Except yeah. I forgot tonight because I was chitter-chattering with Sarah. <laughs> so it's your fault, Sarah. <laughs> but no. <Yeah. laughs> we talk to each other all day long. That's nice. It's <laughs> terrible. We're that's besties really nice. for sure. That's very nice. So that's what it's all about. You like Universal's Cotton Supreme. I've never heard of that. Where do you get that, Karen? Thank you, Sherry. Or it will come to me, Shannon. What it was it? Bear, 15, yes. <laughs> Happy early birthday. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, and then, and then, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. Bear, Sarah Bear, 15, yes. That is Kim. Is she, you haven't been at the lives for a while, Sarah. There's a whole other group of people you don't know about. <laughs> Dawn just posted her most recent somebody on your Facebook group. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm making somebody's. I made I made what was supposed to be a frog, but it <laughs> turned into a bear. It was what green. Was supposed to be it was frog? green and he had like he's gonna have ear eyes on the top, but they look more like ears. So I just decided, no, he's a bear. There you go. He's and I brought bear. him to the hospital and they would have loved him. Sarah said he was ugly, but the people at the hospital thought he was great because he didn't have eyes or noses or anything. He just was <laughs> soft and cuddly. He said, perfect, nothing to fall off. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Matt likes Karen Lion brand, but my favorite is Malabrigio Rios. Yes, who doesn't love that? Right? <laughs> I like Karen. Karen Cakes. Cotton I like cakes. Karen Cakes. I like any cotton, really. I, I don't like, rough, well, rough cotton. I'm just uh, approving you, Matt. There we are. Rough cotton I use for dishcloths, obviously, like the rest of us. Yeah. That's why I call it rough cotton. But I make face cloths and face scrubbies and that sort of stuff. And that I, made out, I make out of good cotton because your face is your face. You don't want to put rough cotton on your face or your body. Right. Although rough cotton on the back is kind of nice. Yeah. I do it on my okay. arms. Exfoliating. Yeah. 
some is definitely kitchen cotton, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we use Karen cotton. Oh, Rizik, I highly recommend you try, try yeah. uh, uh, Karen cotton. I have a couple cakes that were donated. I mean, this lady donated the best yarn. It was That's amazing. donated a whole bunch of colorful uh, ombres, a whole bunch of different cottons, a whole bunch of. Um, and then uh, I won at uh, Juan the Yarn Addicts once, and it was all cotton. That was good. I was, I was like, I need cotton. Got to get some cotton. And then I won some, and then I just donated some <laughs> for, um, what do you call it? Um, I have a groomies. Yeah. Because I want to make little stuffies to go with the blankets for the kids at the hospital. So. Yeah. This time, they only got three out of me, but next time, they'll get more. <laughs> Oh, you're so duh. You should have said members live. Don't say duh, Mona. <laughs> Nana Mona. I'll call you Nana. Is that okay if I call you Nana? My mom, my mom, my Sarah is the only one in our family to call my mom Nana. Everybody else calls her grandma, but Sarah calls her really? Nana. Really? Yeah. She's closest to my mom, though. Let's That's see. how my daughter was. What happens on a members live? Oh, okay. Members live. I am teaching how to make a unicorn right now, a unicorn amigurumi. So that's what we're doing right now. And we just hang out together and we learn how to crochet a... See, that's really nice. Is that made out of cotton? No, well, no it's that um, acrylic and wool. Yeah, it's the wool that makes it light lighter. Yeah. Makes it I like it. Lighter. I think I'm, I think it might I be... I really like it. Is it a three? Three weight? Yeah. No, it's a four. I can tell by four. sitting here. I can it's tell by four. looking at it, yeah. Yeah. When it's on you, it looks like a three. It looks very lightweight. I think it's long enough. I think it I, is, too. I don't want it to come down any further. No, right? I think it's long enough. Stand up. Yeah, no. That's all the way down past. Yeah, it comes down past my waist. Turn around. Let me check it out. <laughs> I don't yes. want you to see what I'm wearing. Oh. I got shorts on. Oh, okay. fair <laughs> but enough. But it is pretty, right? No, yeah, it's perfect size. I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, it's perfect size. No when to be done, right? I made a uh, shrug for a friend of mine, and I brought it in a couple weeks ago. She tried it on. It fit her perfect. I was like, oh, my God, I thought it was going to be too big because no, I just I guessed. So there it is. All finished. I got to tie. It's I got to tuck nice. my tail. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. It's real nice. And I love that it's fitted. How many yards was it? <laughs> um, it took me three of these. And do 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 two hundred yards each. So six hundred. Well, that's not bad. Three of these. No, it's not bad. Where'd you get the pattern for that? Well, it kind of came from um my class. Okay. But then I didn't really like her, so I did it myself. I changed it. Oh, okay. So I can call it my own. <laughs> Yo, there you go. Because I shared it. Yeah. Well, yes, thank you, Kim. Very yeah, pretty. It's really, really Member pretty. Says it's so pretty, Kim. It I is might really pretty. It and stretch it out a little bit. But yeah, I'm glad it whew, finished. Take it off my list. <laughs> One yeah, less whip. Nice. I know I'm thinking about it, Sarah. I'm seriously thinking about it. The problem with me is I'm short mm -hmm. and and wide. <laughs> I'm short and wide. So Same. I put yeah. things on like that. It kind of that doesn't make that makes you look no it makes you look fine. Yeah, I really I can send you the pattern because, like I said, I changed it and made it my own. So sure, I can send it to you. Just for, just yeah, know that I knew it patterns. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. It'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, good. I make one. If I don't like it on myself, I can give it away to somebody else. That's all. There you go. Because that's what happened with the shawl. I made a shawl. Nice ball colors. I was like, oh, God, no. Put it on after I made it. I'm like, no. No, I can't, <laughs> can't wear shawls. It's not not yet. Maybe in a few years, but not I've yet. I've decided I'm a poncho person. Yeah. Let's see, it's a poncho, so it might be better. I'm making myself a like a like a 
a summer pullover thing. Nice. It's made out of cotton and it's a bag of day patterns, all very lacy and yep. holy. So, uh, yeah. Cool. It's nice. Yeah, Yay, pretty soon these done. blankets are going to get very hot in the summertime. Yeah, these colors are something, aren't they? I wonder what it would. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Now, see, here I have this much left. So I'm going to wind it into a ball and put it over there in my stash. That's what I do. And then I make it into a blanket. Yep. Oh, this will be a pretty ball. blanket. But this so I, is, this, what I'm making right here is, uh, this is just the end of the uh, yeah. loops and threads soft classic. From that blanket you're making, right? Yeah. That's what it's attached, attached to the blanket. It was right. a ball. It was the full scheme. Yeah. It just got all tangled up, so I had to put it and make it into a ball. <laughs> hate when that happens. I'm lucky. I have a friend who loves to wind my yarn bar for me. I have a question. Sure. Who just crochets right out of the ball? Or I think there's people that do this. Who cakes up all their yarn and then crochets out of the cake? Does anybody do that? Does anybody cake up all their yarn or certain I, kinds of yarn they cake up? No, I pull right from here. Morocco, Juniper Yoon. I love this yarn. Red heart roll with it. I have a red heart roll with it. I'm using it uh, on my uh, bag of day shawl that I'm going to give away. Oh, oh Blue, good. And I'm using, I'm using um, Mia cotton, which is beautiful cotton. Oh, I'm using nice. the roll with it. Uh, the uh, sparkle kind in blue, and I'm using a beautiful blue um, uh, bamboo. So it will be bamboo, cotton, and uh, a little bit of, of the uh, roll with it in there for the sparkle. So that that'll sounds be really pretty. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what people are saying about that. Mimi does that. Mimi... I want to do one with cotton Karen cakes Thank with you, big Rebecca. squares. No, Kathy does. Cindy doesn't do that. I crochet right out of the ball. Yeah, right out of the out ball. of the skein. You use from the ball. Crochet from the ball. I only ball up. I only ball up the hanks. Yeah, I only cake up hanks. Otherwise, I would work right out of the center of the cake or skein. Yeah. Yeah. Pirate parrot stripes. I was looking at that, Sherry. Just before the live, I was looking at all those stripey stripe red hearts because they're so pretty. They make perfect blankets for the kids, right? I love color. So to be able to make yeah. these blankets for the kids and just put all my color that I want in it, that's great. Because most places, I wouldn't really like the way I, you know, that, that I like things so bright, but it's perfect for children's <laughs> hospital. Sure. It sure is. What exactly is a yarn cake? Oh, man, that's a good question. I will show you. Hold on a second. Yeah, Barb, that's what I do too. Okay, so here's how it works. You start off with a skein like this. And some, this is a skein, this is a cake. It comes like this. This is a Karen cotton cake that it was donated. See, it's, I hate this thing like that, okay? The only thing about StreamYard that drives me nuts. <laughs> so this is a cake. And what, if you have a ball winder, which I was gifted one a couple of weeks ago by my lovely friend Don Aaron and Sharon Loves Purple, you can take this and you can turn it into this. This is donated as well. This is camel, camel and silk. And camel silk and what else? Alpaca. 
this is was donated as well, but I can't give this to the children's hospital because they're not allowed to have animal fibers. So I get uh -huh. to keep I get to keep the camel silk and <laughs> and the alpaca for myself. So I'm making myself <laughs> a beautiful blanket out of Good it. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I this would be nice too. This is here. this was donated. That's I don't nice. remember who had got this from whether it was donated from the big bin or this came from uh, one, I don't know. It's baby soft cotton chunky. That's cool. It's soft. It's um, fifty-five acrylic, like fifty-five acrylic, forty-five cotton. I think I'm gonna make a a lovey out of this. Nice oh, that'd be soft. nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I try and keep the loveys nice and soft for the kiddos, because you know they're being tortured in the hospital with tubes <laughs> in them. That's true. Let's think about I it. Know. If you were a kid. Poor tubes things. and freaking everything. Yeah, that's a shame. People come in and they're all wearing masks all the time now. Aww. You know, it's not easy for those kiddos. And the, some of the stories are just awful. Just, just I awful. I gotta let my dog in. I'll be right back. Yeah. Queensland Collection. Mona, it will click and you will understand. Believe me, it took me a while. Yarn cake is like a ball with a flat top and bottom. Pretty much, yeah. No, camel is very, very soft. It's like mm, squishy and it's soft. And it, it's just, it's a feeling like, you know, like when I, the first time I felt this yarn, I didn't know what it was. I just felt it. I'm like, oh, that feels nice. What's that? And I looked and it was like camel and alpaca and silk. Cause there's silk in here as well. It probably off, off cuts the feeling of camel. Maybe I don't know what a camel feels like. Cannot <laughs> say I've actually felt a camel in my life. Although my friends have. You have a friend that moved out to uh, Abu Dhabi. No, is Abu Dhabi? Yeah. Anyways, they all went riding camels. But uh, there were six skeins. One was organic cotton with silk in it. The other one was the camel. And the other one was 100% Peruvian wool. Nice. So, hold on. Show and tell. This is the show and tell part of the channel. <laughs> this is the uh, hundred percent Peruvian wool. It's really soft too. It's not as soft as the other stuff though, because it's just pure wool. Well, that's what I'm on the crochet right now. This is the um, this is the cotton, hundred percent organic cotton with um, silk and alpaca in it. Nice. Very nice, very, very nice. And uh, so here's the blanket. I'm almost finished. It's coming along. I put this uh, synthetic stuff in there too, which is also very, I thought it went with it because I don't know if you can even see where the, the difference is here between here and here, there's yeah, a slight difference in tone. And then looks, this looks, in some ways it looks blue uh, and purple. Yeah, it does. And in some lights it looks brown, but it's actually brown. But next to the purple, it looks, looks Yeah, it purple. looks like, yeah. Looks like purple and brown. It's really, it's just mm, so yummy, squishy. <laughs> 
so good. All righty. Let me see here. What's going on with this here? Okay. I guess they're catching the top of the thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what everybody's doing in the chat, shall we? Anxiously waiting to crochet. Why can't you crochet now? Pretty yarn wall. I can't tell you how happy I am that that poncho is finished. Oh, Tammy still wears her, her mask to her doctors. Yes, Sarah wears a mask all day at work. Is oh. Anymore? Mask mandatory was lifted for today? Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, oh my awesome. God. Can you imagine wearing a mask all day at work for 12 hours? No. For five years? No. Can you imagine? <laughs> and the first few years, they had to wear gowns and everything, too. And now no more masks. No more masks in the hallway, right, Sarah? But you have to wear them still in the patient rooms? Or only for those who are on mask mandates? Tell me which it is. Oh, you're getting ready to to, to dye some 100% Peruvian wool and zebra stripes. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, it's really soft. Best part of rolling the balls was watching the ball bounce in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm waiting for Sarah's answer. Do you have to wear it in the hall? She yes, has only who was isolated. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Oh my god, back to normal. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. And you're due for a new another upgrade, another bonus. Eh? They've been getting a lot of money for COVID too, which they should, as they should. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I I know what that means because I I I know what it means to wear a mask and to wear a mask for 12 hours a day. Sometimes she would work 16 hours a day in a mask. Oh, especially with asthma, she's got asthma. Oh. Hmm, I'm so happy. Good. I'm so happy for you, Sarah. That's fantastic. That's really good. So you only have to wear the mask when the person is on the isolation, which is exactly how it should be. That's awesome. Now I have to look presentable for work. Hello, <laughs> no, <laughs> hell, no mask to hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to put some makeup on it. Eh? Oh, yeah. Comb my hair. <laughs> yeah, because you just put your hair in a bun and then put the mask on. <laughs> put on a t-shirt, put your jeans, your pants on. The days I used to have to put the freaking cap on, and the, the, we used to wear white dresses and the nursing shoes. When I started, everybody was wearing wet white. When I finished, everybody was wearing any color but white. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Do you want to do your um, giveaway, Kim? Sure. How are we gonna do it? How do you want to do it? Oh, um. How about, here, here's how I do it. How about, how many people are here? Uh, 28, awesome. How about everybody pick a number between 1 and 50. And the first per per person closest to or with the number will win. Hi, and Dan, gonna... Aaron, how are you, girlfriend? At the movies. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fun. Awesome. We're doing a draw for a cup from Kim Fortunate Creations. She is a Be Creative Cup. <laughs> so put your number in between 1 and 50 to win a cup. Sarah Bear always gets 15. That's her number. That's why she's named <laughs> Sarah Bear 15. That's a good idea. You're smart, Shannon. This way, you know, just do a random gen money generator. I'm not smart, I didn't make this stuff up, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask Alexa to pick it. <laughs> oh, okay, random.org. There we are. 
between 1 and 50. And make sure you're not copying. You don't have someone else's number that's yeah, ahead of I'm you. Looking. Usually that happens. So Barb Jarvis or Jarvie, you need to pick another number because Brenda already had 45 P. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Barb Jarvie, please. Perfect. Pick Thank you. Okay, now let me check again. Um, Barbara, somebody already has 14 as well. Make sure you look at all the Oh, she picked 50. There you go. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to remove the 14 so that I don't get confused. 50, 50, 22, 13, 14, 17, 11, 10, 36. 38, 9, 41, 27, 21, 33, 24, 28, 145. That's it. Remove one. Remove this one. I think we have two number 28s. Oh, yeah? Kim Poulton and Karen Garrett. Karen, can you pick a different number, hon? Because um, Kim had it first up on the list. Yeah. Brenda, you've been hiding all night. Nice there you explain. go. Thank you. Barb Jarvie, I'm going to take this one out because that's your other one. Okay. Is that it? Has everybody got different numbers now? I believe 32, so. 31, 23, 31. 11. What if random number picker picks one that nobody has? Mary King, you need to change your number because Kathy Whitney has a number 11. Please make sure that you look at all the numbers before you pick another one, just so we we know what's... It's difficult, I know, when we have this many people. Thank you, Karen. All right, are we ready? I think we're ready. Alrighty, let's do it. See this? I hate this thing about this one thing. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay, between. One and fifty. Right. Generate. Twelve. Twelve. The number twelve. So the closest, if there isn't a 12, will you pick the closest without going over? Is that how that works? All right. So let's see. So far, Kathy Whitney has 11. Yep. So it looks like Kathy Whitney. Hi, Renee. <laughs> oh, hey, Kathy Whitney. Hi, Renee. Renee is also a... a Come over from hi renee how are you welcome welcome I put your name in the giveaway for my channel we do a giveaway once a month all right so um kathy whitney here's i'm gonna put my email address down here if you want to send me your mailing address yeah kathy sarah bear woohoo congratulations so send me your mailing address and I will send you this mug. Very cute. It is adorable. I actually made myself one. <laughs> My daughter had one made for me. It says art junkie, art nice. crochet, and YouTube all day. That's cool. <laughs> My favorite. My favorite mug. Usually I have Perfect. it here. I'm glad I didn't drink coffee tonight. I was gonna I usually I always drink coffee during my lives and then I pay for it. I have seltzer. Well, I have decaf. I bought decaf mm -hmm. for the, exactly that reason. So I should have drank some decaf coffee. But anyways, it's time for my love you and leave you. So what can you do? Love you and leave you. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Kathy, for being here. Love you. I'm glad you won. Look, you show up, you win stuff. So what happens around here? <laughs> Brenda A, thank you for being here, Brenda. Karen Garrett, thank you for coming. It's nice to meet you. I hope you'll come back again. 
I will be going live again on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will be making art of some nature. Some kind of mixed media creation will be occurring. Uh, Tammy, who is Mimi Loves Crochet, thank you for being here, my good friend. Rebecca Gomez, thank you for coming by. It's nice to meet you. And I hope you'll stop by again next time. We have a great group here. Nona, Nana, Nana, is it no no? I can't see right now. No, 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 no. Nana Mona. <laughs> Sorry, hun. Um, thank you for coming. And I hope you join my uh, Facebook uh, group and uh, hang out. Come hang out with us some more. Sherry Knowles, thank you, Carol, for coming by. Rockin' Ama Creations, so glad to have you again. Sarah Bear, I love you more than any other human being on Earth. I hope you know that. Matt, thank you for coming. It was nice to meet you, and I hope you come back again, too. Same thing with you, Renee P. Mary King, you're an old, old, old school now. Thank you for stopping by, Mary. Uh, Don Aaron, I love you too, girl. Thank you for being here. Go enjoy your time with your husband. Barb Jarvie, good to have you, girlfriend. Pam's cozy nook. Same with you, Pam. Glad to have you here. Oh, it's a busy, it's a busy, busy, busy life. Mama Honey Badger, thank you for being here. Again, I hope you had fun here, and I hope you come back and have fun again. Uh, hi, current comment, Mary King. Alrighty. Uh, let me see if I missed anybody in my list here. I don't like to miss anybody. <laughs> Allie K, thank you for being here, Allie. And now you know what a kick is. So there you go. You learned something today. Ruth, thank you for coming. Ruth Isaac, uh, Brenda A. I said, that's softball Susie. Thank you for stopping by. I'm really enjoying your channel. I love the, your hanging dye. You should dye the yarn, too. Softball Susie. Uh, Joyce, boring. Good to have you. Joyce is always hiding in the background. She's very sneaky and quiet. <laughs> always around. He's always around. I love you, Joyce. Thank you for coming. Maritza. Hola, Maritza. Rebecca Gomez, I think I said hi. Tie-Dye Dawn, thank you for coming. Kim Poulton, Veronica, thank you for being here. Karen H. Michael was saying hello. Flower Tammy, the lovely Bex, and Aunt Bex Creations. And Stitch of Pam, Brenda Eiserman, and Cindy and Casing. Teresa Church. And Mama Knows Best Wind. Thank you, guys. What a busy live. How wonderful is that? It and thank fun. you so much, Kim, for stopping by and being part welcome. of our live from the lounge chair. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, it was, it was fun. really fun. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank so, you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Bye, guys. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. I don't know how to turn all this.